Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a foundation review on the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. I have it in the shade Medium Y340 and it claims to be a youthful look long wear foundation that is flashback free and self setting finish. So I assume that means it's a matte finish, which is great because I have oily skin. So this video is perfect for those of you with oily skin and want to know how this foundation performs. I do do a demo and a wear test. I'll also include a picture with flash photography to see how it looks. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on this foundation and the demo, then stay tuned. So I've decided to do like two videos in one sort of deal. I just did a tutorial on this eye look and I wanted to do a first impressions and demo of the new um, Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look Long Wear Foundation. Okay, so it's a nice little squeezy tube like this, which I like. I'm gonna just squeeze some out onto my hand. I'm gonna take about this much. I'm gonna start dotting this over my face. Whoa, I took a lot. You do not need that much. Okay, this side I'm gonna use without a primer and then I'm gonna prime the other half of my face. And lately I've been loving this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, so I'm just gonna use this to prime the other half of my face just to see if it makes a difference. There's no smell to it, so that's good. I think I used way too much foundation. I still have this much left and I'm not gonna try to pile all that on my face. Just because that's not realistic, I don't typically put that much foundation on my face, so if it looks cakey or something, I can't really blame the foundation if I put too much on. So for this side, I'm gonna use a flat top kabuki brush to blend it out to see. This stuff does set quick. I shouldn't have dotted it all over my face because you gotta work pretty fast. Okay, and I'm going to quickly blend out this side with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna wipe off the rest of this foundation on my hand. I'm not gonna use it. So it's about a good medium coverage. Let me look at the shade. I think the shade match is pretty good for me actually. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light, but like you can see that it's a pretty good shade match. I was gonna actually get Y360, but they didn't have it, so I took this one instead. The side with the brush and the foundation pretty much looks the same. Application was about the same. And the side with the primer and without the primer, they also look the same, so. I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage because I can always tell when a foundation is like full coverage if my freckles are gone and I can still see all of my freckles. So that's good. It lets the skin breathe. As far as self-setting, it's starting to dry down to like a matte finish. I still see like a subtle sheen right here so I don't think that it's like a matte matte. It's like a semi matte. I'm just going to apply my concealer the way I normally would, just to see how it blends over top. So by the time I've blended out my concealer, it has set to a matte finish, which is nice because I have oily skin. I'll still go over it with a light layer of translucent powder, but if it goes to a matte finish on its own, then that's ideal for me. So for bronzer today, I'm going to use my Chanel Soleil 10 bronzer. It's just a cream bronzer. Did you see that? I was just tapping off excess product <laughs> as if it was a powder. So I'm just going to take this on that same foundation brush, stipple this on, see how it blends out. So the bronzer is blending really nice over top of the foundation. My skin looks really like airbrushed right now, which I'm a fan of, of course. I'm just noticing that I have a little bit of a blemish scar that's still showing through, so I want to see if it's buildable. I'm going to take a little bit more of that foundation, put a tiny little bit on the brush, and I love the packaging of this, of course, like the squeezy tube. You can squeeze out exactly how much you want without having to waste any product. So I'm just going to just tap right over that guy, really lightly just tap over, and then I'm going to flip to the, like the side of the brush just to tap over it because I don't need a ton of product down there and yep that covered it right up so the foundation is definitely buildable I'm gonna go in with some blush now I'm just gonna use my usual Too Faced it's not Too Faced Tarte Party Blush I look pretty crazy probably because I haven't done my lower lash line or anything yet but I'm just gonna keep it zoomed in so you guys can see how it looks on the skin I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty 
Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I dip into both of them. So here's a close-up of the skin. It looks really nice on the skin, really airbrushed. I found the application was pretty much the same when I used a flat top kabuki brush and with the beauty blender. So whatever your favorite tool is, whether it's the beauty blender or the brush, I think it would work perfectly. The side with the primer and the side with the no primer, I find it looks exactly the same in terms of like pores and texture. Granted, I don't have um, really large pores or anything like that, so I wouldn't be the best judge on that. I'll be able to tell by the end of the day after I've worn the foundation to see how the non-prime side holds up with the um, prime side in terms of holding back oils and keeping me matte. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So it's currently 6.45. I'm going to test this makeup for about six hours and I'll let you guys know how it held up. I'll be back. So it hasn't been the full six hours. It's getting kind of late. Well, it's 11.30 and I actually just want to like take off this makeup and turn in. So here's the time if you can see. So everything looks exactly the way it did when I applied the foundation five hours ago. I will say that in this little nose area right here, you can see a little bit of separation there. Everything still looks really good, like the skin looks pretty smooth. It's still pretty matte, like everything still looks pretty good. I'm not shocked because I didn't wear it for an awfully long time. My bronzer, blush, and highlight are still exactly where I put them. And as much as I love makeup, my favorite part of the day is taking it all off. I'm already in my jammies, like I'm ready to go to bed. I'm so tired, my eyes are like bloodshot right now. I will definitely keep you guys posted on how it wears. The more I wear it, I'll probably wear it for a few days in a row just to see how I like it. And don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in my next video.